Hi all, welcome to Santa Cruz. Thank you for watching our video. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Particular kind of a system that is nothing but known as the IoT, known as Internet of Things. So here I have all the Blink app libraries within this system, and I have also downloaded the Blink app in my mobile. So just I will uh, turn on my camera and I will show it. So I hope everyone is able to see this Blink app. Okay. So this was the previous project which I have done. So whenever if we want to just work in this uh, Blink app over there, first we have to click on this Add. So here we have an option for new project. Click on that, and within this new project you have to type your name. So within this uh, project name. Then we have to select your hardware. So here I am using my Raspberry Pi. Let me select it. Yeah. Here I have uh, different versions of uh, Raspberry Pi. So here I want to select the Raspberry Pi 3B. Then after that selecting, just uh, tap on OK. So after clicking on that OK, you will be having an option known as uh, Create. So once you click on Create. to the blink app whichever you have logged in with your respective mail id you will be receiving a mail okay so just i will show you that uh, mail now so within that mail you will be having uh, that particular authentication code or also known as uh, api code on october 4 so the same authentication token only i am using it over here you can just check it the starting is uh, 4a468 so here also 4a468 so for that particular thing only i have created the project now after creating the project you will be getting an empty space so before this you will be having an empty space so there within that particular empty space you can click on this plus button and you can select the object whichever you require so here you have all the mail protocols gps then uh, we can go with the button in different types toggle buttons push buttons and here i have used the gauge meter for reading both the data so here you can see gauge and here you will be having some initial value of 2000 charge so from that charge i have used the two gauges so from that particular gauge we have to configure it so tap on one gauge just double tap it you will be getting this kind of sections so here i have provided the title as uh, temperature so this will be known as the virtual pin okay so whatever we are going to read the data through internet from a device for that we will be using the virtual pin so this particular virtual pin if i tap it over there i can select the different virtual pins over there okay So for this, I'm using virtual pin two. Okay, then press on OK. Then here it is from zero to hundred. So from zero to hundred degree, it will be able to measure that particular temperature. Then size of the text, I can select it over here. Then often how much we have to. So often, how much we have to get this particular kind of data in the sense? I am selecting it as for one second. So each and every second, the data gets updated within this uh, Blink app. So click on OK. It is selected for one second. Now uh, get back to the main screen. It is empty. Similarly, I have to uh, do for the other gauge also. So double tap. Selected for V1 as the virtual pin. the text and from 0 to 100 percentage it will be able to measure each and every second the data gets uploaded okay got it 
so now once again I am getting into the main screen now I am running this and uh, just note this I have connected my particular uh, device towards the internet this Raspberry Pi also been connected towards the internet now before running this module I am just clicking on this uh, play button so this play button only here the simulation will be working okay so it is just showing the last red data so now I am clicking on the run module so now you can see whatever the percentage is over there that has been changed over here So in this way only, based on the changing of data, it will be just uh, changing it in the scotch meter. So this is known as the blink app, which is used for IoT monitoring as well as controlling over there. Okay. So I have done the same thing only. Next, let us go with the uh, moisture. So here, whatever that uh, ADC converter I am using, it is completely uh, with the help of I2C communication i2c protocol so for i2c only we will be using this sda scl functions see the wi-fi is normal wi-fi only you can use even your mobile hotspot there is no limitations for that even lan connection through lan also you are allowed to use it Okay, so here we are using I2C device for this and uh, for this particular uh, ADC converter I am using wiring pi function. So this wiring pi belongs to the I2C section. This wiring pi is nothing but known as the package for uh, I2C in Raspberry Pi. So you have to additionally install it for that sudo pip3. So if I start to say regarding towards the I2C, it takes a long lot of time. So uh, shortly I will be explaining as uh, to convert the analog data into digital and using this ADC. And this ADC, whatever it is, uh, PCF8591, it works based on the I2C protocol. So through SDA and SCL, it will be sharing the data. So with the help of this particular data, we will be able to monitor whether the moisture is available or not. So whenever we just uh, provide this particular sensor over there, uh, we have to declare this I2C protocol with the basic bytecode commands. So for each and every bytecode commands, we have to go with the analog reading data as well as uh, digital to analog data. It depends upon our requirement. Within this particular I2C device, it is possible to convert from analog to digital and digital to analog. So here we are going to use analog to digital. So for that, uh, basically it might have been display, uh, displayed all these particular functions for uh, PCF8591. Here we are going to use this uh, analog read zero. So through this only we will be reading all the particular data. So once after defining the class as well as the functions, we will be calling with the bytecode and that bytecode it will be printing the data, whatever it is able to read from the sensor. The sensor value will be varying according to the uh, real-time implementation or whatever we are providing it towards the system. So now I will show you that particular sensor as well as the ADC. And we have connected our sensor towards this uh, ADC. Only one pin we will be connecting. The stall pin should be connected towards the Raspberry Pi. So within this sensor, we have to connect uh, three, sorry, four pins towards the Raspberry Pi. So those four pins are 
VCC, ground and uh, SDA, SEL. Okay, so here SDA and SEL, we can see it in this uh, in diagram. It is available at uh, GPIO2 and GPIO3. We have to connect it over there. Then VCC and ground. VCC for 3.3 volt. So the first pin is for 3.3 volt over here. And ground is available over here. Here. Totally there are uh, nearly 8 grounds within this Raspberry Pi out of 40 pins. Okay. Thank you for watching our video if you like this video kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends don't forget to subscribe our channel